Right now, let's have a look at this viewer. Now, the nice thing about the viewer is that it looks the same across all of your applications. So if I were to open this on my mobile device, it would look exactly the same, pretty much behave in the same way, and also have all of the same options. So it allows you to pan around using the W, A, S, and D keys on my keyboard. I can move around the scene. If I click and hold the right mouse button, I can rotate the camera around the static point. Left mouse button allows me to pan around the scene and that allows you to move around like this. Now there are a few things that you can do to assist you, especially if you're working in a larger project. And the first one is if you go to the layers here, you can filter the objects in your scene by the BIM data. So in this case, you can see it is broken into the manufacturers, the type system families and categories. Now that's the metadata that came from Revit. So if I go to category here and I say, for example, switch off all of my floors, you can see they disappear there. Or if I click on the floors, it will highlight all of the floors in my scene. So they are the furniture, furniture systems, all of the light fixtures, which you can see you can quickly find those. And if you want to see inside the scene, just for example, switch off the roofs, there we go. So apart from all of these filters, you can change to better looking or more responsive. So especially, for example, if you're doing virtual reality or you're on a mobile device, you may want a more responsive experience instead of the better looking. What this will do is just switch off all of the post-processing and give you something that's a bit smoother to work with. You can also open other projects by selecting that folder. And here you can switch to your mobile device. So if I were opening my viewer here on a mobile device, that is the AR option. So if I select that, I can't do it now because I'm on the desktop. But if I select this, it will give me an augmented reality model. And I'll put a video in here so that you can see what it looks like. And if I had a virtual reality headset connected, I could select this one and it would automatically drop me into this model in VR mode. Then, like we said, there's a constant syncing between the Revit application and your CAD application. That's all handled by the Reflect server. So if I were to make any changes to this, let's do something drastic like selecting these windows and deleting them. And then I go back to my Reflect uh, viewer here. Let's refresh that. You can see that those windows are now gone. Let's undo this and it's already updated. Okay, so that is it for the Reflect viewer. Now, typically what would happen here is that if you have clients coming to your office, you would share this view with them. They can open it on a tablet or their phones, or you may be doing a presentation in the boardroom from another PC. As long as all of those devices are on the same network, they will be able to connect to that, that Reflect server and they can see design changes being made in real time, provided that they all have access to that project. So in the next lesson, I will show you how do you give access to a project to someone from outside your organization. Typical scenario here would be you have the client coming to your office. You want to give them the ability to install the Reflect Viewer on their own mobile devices or their laptops and then have access to that same project while you are showcasing it.